Hey guys, good evening. I'm going to shoot a quick video of my first use with the Top Don RD Diag 900 Lite. Um, I've been using scan tools for a really long time and I feel Top Don has been making really great stuff, especially the Top Don Top Scan. That thing is amazing. And now I got to get a chance to try out the RD Diag 900 Lite. It comes in this really nice case, and I already pre-registered it, so I don't have to do that part, but here's where all accessories come. It's such a great case. comes with some cables and hardwire cable and charging cable. Like I said, if you wanted to just hardwire it. But um, it's a really nice soft case that holds the tablet in. And I'll get it over here in a second. Give me one second, guys. So, this is the tablet. Here's some of the buttons on the top. Obviously, you got your power, but there's a camera button right on it. Um, seems like a really nice tablet for the money and does quite a bit of diagnosing and bi-directional it has capability to do grafting and i think it's just really worth the money for a nice scan tool for a diy or any shop at that matter um just booting it up now and like i said i pre-registered it already um it, it, it boots up pretty fast. I mean, if you guys seen that pretty quick, server is running, it says. So, I mean, you can do all your updates. You have all your maintenance stuff that it can do. Um, quite a bit in there. Um, your diagnosis, all your updates, if you need to get in to do any updates. Um, I guess you can check on check the network um i guess i gotta see if if i'm getting on the network mm. i don't think you really need a network to check stuff but all right so we'll try it out anyway so i'm gonna jump in here i got a toyota oh this is pretty cool too because it stores the vci right in the back it's magnetic there's your camera it's got a bit of a stand on it that's pretty cool I don't know if it'll work on there. Not 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 percent but um yeah so the VCI is magnetically attached to the back. That's pretty cool. So you know a normal VCI. I'm gonna go plug it in for a second, so give me a just give me a minute and so I can get over the dash, you know. You guys know where this goes, you know, right into there. I'll let you know that it's connected already. Jump back up here. Let's see, it's showing the VCI is already connected in green. So, so far it's been pretty easy to use. Um, you can go make, or you can, you know, pick out on the top of the list, or you can go by a uh, VIN number. So we'll do, we'll do VIN, auto VIN. We'll see if it picks it up. So auto VIN. All right, yep, it's, I have a Toyota. So we click on there, confirm. That's pretty quick, I'd say. Moves pretty fast. I'd say for the speed so far, I'm, um, I would have to say that it's pretty good, huh? All right, so we hit the diagnose, and it's just telling you about the version of the tool and all of that. And uh, I guess we're going to diagnose. I don't have any check engine lights on, so I do have a TPMS issue. Um, okay, so you can get an auto scan. Everything's on scan, so obviously, you know, it shows your battery voltage right there. So that's a quick show of your charging system. You hit auto scan. So it's going to go through it. I mean, like any scanner, it has to go through multiple systems depending on what kind of car and how many systems it has. It, it, it takes a while for some cars. Like I said, I knew I had tire pressure faults. Um, but, no, oh, a ranch would have... Ran through the diag already, so it's you know I guess the diags, the ones with the codes comes up at the top. But you got ETC, you got cruise, ABS, airbag. Um, all right, so we'll jump into the tire pressure. We'll see what 
we're gonna get. So you hit the little arrow there. Okay, yep, that's fine. Protocol, that seems good. All right, we'll go uh, trouble code to see what's going on. Like I said, I know I have an issue with uh, some TPM messes, so it's probably gonna come up with everyone. Cannot receive transmission. That's that's pretty cool. We'll hit we'll hit the operation, see what it shows. So I guess you can click on certain things here. I guess if you click on that, it's gonna give you a. I'm not on the internet right now, but it would link you right into the internet to tell you what the code is all about. So that's really nice for certain people. And uh, I guess we'll erase the codes. And it says, yeah, turn the ignition off. All right, we'll hit that. I'm sure they're gonna come back. But like any scan tool, you just, you know, go through the procedure. All right, so that's a success. That's pretty cool. I guess you could hit live data to see if anything else comes up. I mean, the scan is pretty quick, I gotta say. Like I said, it's got, you know, if you have an external monitor, you have HDMI out, which is really cool. You know, USBs, it's got a Ethernet connection to it, and then it's got a camera button. That's pretty cool. So it's showing you all your tire stuff. I, I guess that's going to give you a graft of it. That's pretty wild, you know. I think that's a pretty cool thing. Grafting these days is a must, so this tool does all the grafting. All right, we'll jump back. We'll go into some, some engine stuff, so we'll click on that and... All right, and he's, he's just telling you that the ECU controls certain things. Um, Dr. Tess, we'll see what we, we can pull up on here. I don't really know. Every car has certain and a different amount of tests. You know, this is an older car, so I might not show everything. VSV, idle control, control fuel pump speed, VSV. Um, okay, there's some more stuff in here. VVT, cylinder fuel cutout, active for the lockup for the transmission. So it has a lot of solenoids, one, two, three. So it definitely gives you a lot of active tests on special functions. Let's see what comes up. I'm not that sure. Manual oil reset, because this doesn't have an automatic. So I guess it would let you explain to you how it gets done and manual throttle matching. So it's definitely full of a lot of stuff. Like I said, misfire monitor, so you can it tells you if it's available or if it's complete. Catalyst monitor is complete. Uh, no DTCs. So heated oxygen sensor, you can graph that. So I, you can just click on the graph button. It shows up a graph. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, um, I want one that's going to show more of a EVAP monitor, AC, AC. We'll see if it comes up with the air fuel monitor. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure why it's not grafting that, but that's something to learn. You know, I might not be in the in the correct PID for me to check for grafting of the O2 sensor. Um, the heater monitor, no, I don't think I'd want that, but it's just showing you that it's complete. Oh, it's just saying that it was complete. It went through its checks. That's why. It's not really the O2 sensor. Short-term and long-term fuel trims. Well, I'm really in really good numbers there. If anybody knows much about fuel trims. So, but it's showing you your fuel trims. I, I don't know what how it would graft, but 0.8, you know. Okay, that's showing some fuel trims. So that's your long-term um, we'll, we'll jump into the short term because that's the one that is the most quickest. So you, with throttle use, it goes lean, goes rich, you know. That's what the, the, I mean, that, that works really fast. I mean, I got to say it works great, you know. Yep, so it's showing. Try to give it like quick. But um, it, it all seems to work great. You know, you can graft just about anything on here. So mass airflow, you know, it shows you, you know, your value in grams per second. And I got to say, I, 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 this scan is really great, man. Top Down has another great product out there. I don't think it's superly expensive and it's be able, it's able to do lots. I mean, you can record your, your grafting and then check it later and, uh, 
trouble codes and, and all of that. And then you can jump back. We'll jump out of there. I wanted to show you that it does EOBD2, right? So it just gave me a, a message and it gave me a, a sound. Don't forget the VCI. So we'll jump out of there. I'm going to just jump back for a second. Okay, maintenance. So you can do all of that right there. Um, diagnostics. I was just seeing it for that EOBD2. It's a, it does. I just don't know where it's located at this moment because, like I said, I'm just not super used to this. But, I mean, it's, it has a list of all the cars. Um, it's definitely updatable. You have a folder, a library. So, in closing, I just want you to let you know this, the Top Don RD Diag 900 Lite is, is such a great tool amongst all their other tools. I would definitely highly recommend the top down brand tools to anyone because i think they just work great and i heard this has a really long battery life and like i said i'll just grab the the vci from under the dashboard and grab that out if i could find it it just slips right into the back which is really nice you know that's it, it's magnetic, so it really holds in there pretty well. So, guys, I would definitely recommend the use of the Top Don RD Diag 900 Light or any other tools from Top Don. So, in closing, I hope you guys get to try this tool out, and it works great. Have a good night.